Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be an awesome video, guys. Uh, we'll be doing a product review about the CG Solid Guys SC301. This is amazing OBD scanner that, in my opinion, everyone should put one in their glove box and have a peace of mind, guys. Why? Because it's very inexpensive, it's very powerful, it can reset engine light, it can access live data, diagnostic. You see, it has a question mark that tells you actually what's wrong with your vehicle. I'm going to uh, actually demonstrate this one, which is super convenient and uh, you can check if your vehicle is ready to pass emissions or not all that will be covered in this video today now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us if you need to buy any parts to use for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below and that's where we are going to list the link for the uh, scanner as well uh, as you know every single car guys that we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel uh, like the video that way we can keep making more free videos for you so I'll, i'm going to demonstrate on this volkswagen guys okay it has the engine light on and it will show us okay that computer will teach us exactly what's wrong with it and how to fix it so uh, let's go ahead okay and do that okay because in some cases you may not have anything wrong with the vehicle in some cases it may be just a loose connection anything like that that can actually have that same effect as well so i'm going to go ahead connect the OBD port, it's usually under the dash on your vehicle somewhere, under the steering wheel in most cases. And I'm going to come here, okay, let me see now, okay, perfect. We're going to go ahead, start the car, I want to start it now, I want to demonstrate how the engine light stays on. Check it out, engine light stays on. Now the car runs guys, okay, it runs, but fuel economy is poor and engine light stays on. And now we're going to see if that scanner is going to tell us exactly uh, what's wrong with it okay and see if we can take care of that problem you can see that little bit of scanner is everything that we need so let's go ahead okay and see what we need to do first i need to turn the car off then i need to turn the ignition to the second position without starting the vehicle and we have the lights on next let me go ahead and close the door so it's not dinging here because it's a little bit annoying perfect right here on the scanner you have a few functions now one of them guys okay is the obd that's where you read the lead code see live data dtc lookup you can put the code and tell you exactly what it means uh, as well now you can check the review here okay as well it's going to just show you read codes pending codes okay it teaches you you can see that's what we had before okay uh, the last one that it was it's right here okay for the last vehicle so we can quickly access that print data we can you can set a printer okay and you can actually do that one as well now setup you can set uh, language preferences units imperial or uh, uh, the ones here in the us okay but what i want to do first i'm gonna click i am readiness i am readiness is the one that tells you if your vehicle is ready to pass emissions you have multiple systems that you have to drive the vehicle for a certain amount of time and often that will be over 200 miles to make sure that everything works correctly we have engine light on which means we cannot pass emissions okay and we have one code the uh, computer system that are ready are with green the one that are not ready are with x and the one that have uh, the slanted okay uh, thing in, and it's in gray it means that it's not supported by this vehicle so only two systems now are ready to go and one two three four five six are not now i'm going to go back okay and go to obd here under obd you can check a few things now <coughs> one since we have only one code before we even start the thing i'm going to get to the code guys okay we'll erase previously uh, record the data we'll click engine and here we're going to go to view freeze frame data it's going to show you exactly at what conditions the engine light occurred it will tell you what uh, uh, let's say what temperature the engine was how much throttle oxygen sensor how much air the engine was getting rpms all that stuff so you can quickly figure out exactly what's wrong with it so let's go ahead do that quick okay it's working on it now and you can see uh, the code is p0100 okay it shows us that uh, and it's going to show us the load of the engine was 19.2 uh, the temperature of the coolant was 30 degrees so that was on cold engine that it occurred you can check rpms at 1433 rpms zero speed spark advance was negative 
intake temperature all that you can check and see when it happened but now if i go back i can click read codes right here and under read codes i would recommend to check all of these stored okay we have one code p0100 and if you click the question mark here it says mass or volume airflow a circuit it's going to say open or short in the mass MAF sensor improper voltage faulty mass airflow sensor open or short means that the connector is not plugged in or you have a faulty sensor most likely now if i go back to pending code sometimes you may have more codes there depending okay or uh, on the problem so always check those as well now uh, one thing i like about it, it says problems with the life uh, with the MAF sensor i'm going to go ahead okay and i'm going to go ahead actually and see the live data while it's loading i'll just start the car okay we're going to fire it up and now under here we're going to select view data complete data set it's going to load it and you can check now right here rpms and everything you need to check for your vehicle coolant temperature and you can select uh, the green check mark for uh, to open the graph and check it out now when i rev up the engine okay the rpms go up on the graph too so you can see how responsive it is that's great now if i go back i'll go down and here MAF sensor that's the problem it says zero we're getting practically zero grams per second so that MAF sensor it's either unplugged or not communicating or uh, the sensor is uh, messed up so we'll go ahead inspect the problem and see what it is okay so we replaced the MAF sensor guys the problem was with the MAF sensor and now if i restart the car engine light is still on i haven't reset it yet practically complete data set here again and we will go to MAF sensor okay the MAF now is working if i click the graph <coughs> if i rev the engine check it out now every time i rev it up it gets more air because the MAF okay it calculates how much air the engine is getting excuse me so that definitely works now i can go back what we'll do turn the car off turn it to the second position and select erase we're going to select erase codes if i restart it engine light should be off perfect that's how we do it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time